Hello on your channel Aperture 1.4. I'm glad you tuned into my channel again, of course to a warm hello to all new viewers. In this video I would like to introduce you to the Canon EOS RT, a camera for 35mm film, made in 1989. The operation of this camera is very similar to the Canon EOS 650, 620, 630 and 600. The biggest difference is the fixed mirror on the Canon EOS RT. RT stood for real time. The fixed pellicle mirror drastically shortened the shutter release time lag. Pressing the shutter button halfway, readies the camera for instant picture taking. It takes only 0.008 seconds for the shutter's first curtain to open, and the second curtain to close after exposing the film. The camera also features a continuous shooting speed of 5 fps, predictive AI servo AF, auto bracketing, multiple exposures, 6A modes and metered manual, and 15 custom functions. Changing the lens is very easy. You press the button on the left side of the camera, as seen from the camera, and turn the lens in the direction of the Canon lettering. The camera is switched on at the main dial on the left side. L means off, A means on. This dial offers even more settings, more about that later. You can also hear the motor noise of the first Canon L standard zoom. For focusing, a ring USM motor is used for the first time in such a lens type. By pressing the mode button, and simultaneously turning the dial on the right side of the camera, you can use the various automatic exposure modes, shutter priority, TV, aperture priority, AV, program mode. The camera regulates the time and aperture independently, as well as manual mode. Here you have to select the time and aperture yourself, but the camera shows you a possible deviation from the determined exposure value, on the display and in the viewfinder. Press the M button to change the aperture. With the depth function, you have an aid at hand to control the depth of field. You focus on the near and far point, and the camera automatically calculates the correct aperture so that the entire area is in focus. More information about time and aperture can be found on my homepage Aperture on Point 4. Under the flap on the back of the camera are further adjustment knobs, which, except for the rewind knob, are always to be used together with the adjustment dial. Here in this example you can see the film speed setting. Of course, this is only necessary if you are not using DX encoded film, or if you want to change, adjust the film speed for other reasons. Here you can also set the motor speed, single frame, or continuous shooting with up to 5 frames per second. The battery charge capacity can be tested. The film can be rewound prematurely. And you can set a total of 14 individual functions. For example the camera stops automatically after 3 frames in continuous shooting, or you can adjust the shutter delay to that of the Canon F1N to 40 milliseconds. A beep means that the camera has focused correctly. Many beeps mean a warning that the shutter speed is too slow, and that there is a risk of camera shake. The main dial must be set to the corresponding tone symbol for this. Many beeps can also mean that the camera could not focus properly. Listen to some more sounds of this great camera.
This is what the view through the camera viewfinder looks like. I operated the camera in its standard mode, which means there is a release time lag of 100 milliseconds. For comparison, the Canon F1N with FD bayonet offered 40 milliseconds here. Now look at the fixed mirror. First you see the camera in standard mode, with a shutter delay of 100 milliseconds. Here I have set the camera to RT mode, and the shutter lag is now 8 milliseconds. There are two other changes to note in this mode. First, the one-shot focus mode completely overrides the AI servo mode, continuous focus. Secondly, the signal tone is switched off. The Canon EOS RT joins the outstanding first series of Canon EOS models. Canon EOS 620 630, 650 and 600. These models are robust, equipped with many useful features, and are a clear buy recommendation from me, when it comes to the entry into analog 35mm photography. The EOS 600 was a faithful companion, for me as a young man for years, with the Canon EF, 2.8 to 428 to 80 mm L, shown here. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and visit me on my homepage, Aperture 1.4, and on Instagram, at, Aperture 1.4. See you soon.